Hey y'all, hey. It's your girl Nick, and I'm in the kitchen cooking. But I'm already like outdone because I'm trying something new tonight. Listen. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so outdone. Here's the deal. I'm trying to do some things that I've seen done in all of the countries. Um, you guys might have noticed that I watched this show. Like, I think I've mentioned it before. I watched a show called Best Ever Food Movie Show. And this dude goes all over the world trying different things. And he's like so brave. He eats all the things, all the things. This is not super brave, but it's super brave for me. I, we're gonna have fish tonight. We're gonna have fish. Let me just put that out there. That's not really a big deal. But I wanted to make fish like in a banana leaf because I've seen this done so many times. All the indigenous peoples, they do it. And I wanna do it. Look how pretty this banana leaf is. I am gonna do it. So this is what we're cooking our fish in tonight. I'm gonna make one fish in the oven in case this does not work out so i tell y'all i have to be honest that i'm already freaked out because i was taking i bought whole fish it was frozen and i was taking it out of mm, i was taking it out of the package and it fell out this is the fish oh my god it feels oh thankfully it's already gutted and all the things but it's so, it's so slimy, y'all. It's so slimy. It's so slimy. I don't love it. And look, it's looking at you. Hello. Hello, people. How are you all today? That's what it's doing. I don't love it. I don't love it. But I'm about to do this doggone thing. I'm about to do it. I'm about to do it. I have... Three of these, four of these that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wrap them in banana leaves. Two of them I'm just gonna put in the oven like normal because I don't. Like, if the banana leaf thing doesn't work out, I really don't want to ruin all of this fish. So I'm gonna put two of them in the oven like normal. I'm just gonna bake them, broil them, whatever it is. Use my common sense, just do what I do. Um, and the other two I'm going to wrap in the banana leaves like I've seen them do on all the exotic shows, um, all the places like Hawaii and Africa and just in India and just all of the great things. I'm going to season them, do all the great things. And then the other thing is that, listen, Swiss chard. This is rainbow Swiss chard. And I said that I was going to make Swiss chard tonight. And hubby literally was like, he hadn't seen the Swiss chard picked and cut or washed or anything. He was just like, listen, I thought you said you were gonna make Swiss chard. I said, I am. Well, I don't see any Swiss chard. So my Swiss chard is over here. Um, cleaning in some water and some vinegar. And I'm gonna make that for them. But the whole thing that's killing me today is this fish. So I'm gonna try to show y'all how I'm gonna make this fish like it's tripping me out for real it's tripping me out I've already washed my washed and dried my banana leaves for the most part so I'm just gonna lay my fish on there and use some high heat oil I'm using avocado oil because it's gonna go in the grill of course um, and then I'm just gonna season it very simply with salt and pepper and my Cajun seasoning now once I get used to this I'll probably like do things like stuff it with lemons and herbs and all of that but Listen, I just got to get used to how this feels first and see if it actually tastes good, if it's worth doing. So I'm just going to, this fish is kind of big for these banana leaves, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap it as best I can and get it going. So I don't know about this banana leaf thing. So I wrapped, I wrapped up the, this is rainbow trout and I wrapped it up in these banana leaves from her backyard. But you can see like the banana leaves, they broke up and they cooked before the fish did. So, I mean, it looked pretty and all of that, but I really don't know the purpose of doing this. Anyway, hubby's about to have his plate. He's about to get his plate. So we're gonna see if it made a difference in like the flavor or anything like that. 
So I legit just took, there's the banana leaf right there. I just took it out of that and put it on his plate. It looks amazing, like that part looks amazing, but then it's looking at you, y'all. I don't know how I feel about that part. Like that part right there is a mess for me. But so let's see how he feels about it. He's gonna make the rest of his plate and we'll see. All right, so there's his plate. He's got his Swiss chard that he was complaining about so much. I thought you said you were gonna make Swiss chard. There's your Swiss chard. Looks amazing, right? Yes, looks amazing. We got chickpeas, garbanzos with some tomatoes in it. And that fish that's looking at us, y'all. Like, this is the most hilarious thing ever. Let's see how this goes. Okay, y'all. So I stand very, very corrected because something told me, just try this banana leaf. Just try it. Because it can't be just... I mean, it's got to be something to this banana leaf thing. This is a piece of the banana leaf. It is actually, of course, I seasoned the fish and all that stuff. It's actually really good. Tastes like greens. That's what I Obvious. I mean, it's banana leaf. It's the green part of the banana leaf. So obviously, it would taste like greens. Like, right? What else would I expect it to taste like? But it's good. The banana leaf. Let's see what this fish is like. Babe. Wow. Hmm. How's that fish? Good. It tastes like normal fish? Yeah. Can I look at your plate? Mm, I guess. Okay. I mean, it looks like fish. Yep. It looks like fish. <laughs> and it tastes good? Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Is it a keeper? Yeah. I mean, it's a, is it a lot of work? I don't know if it's a lot of work, but anyway. No. It's not a lot of work. No. So it's a keeper. Yeah. Okay, I love it. <laughs> so y'all, that's what's what. And Avery hasn't eaten yet. I just would say, so for people that are not used to eating fish, like whole fish, like real fish, watch out for bones. This one, it didn't have a lot of bones, I don't feel like. Do you feel like it had a lot of bones, babe? A lot? It was gutted all the things so it was not so bad but just beware of that part but otherwise deliciousness i love it hubby loves it we're gonna see what avery has to say i'm pretty sure he's gonna love it because he loves everything anyway that's and one experiment another experiment gone great i guess i don't know if we'll put this on rotation but we like it Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, bye.